If you're wondering about all those new metrics and terms in GA4, well, don't worry. In this video, I'm going to walk you through some of the things that have changed in GA4. I'm going to explain those new terms and way you can use Google Analytics 4 more effectively. And if you'll hang around to the end, I'm going to show you an awesome way that you can simplify using GA4. Attribution is all about how you choose to give credit to various traffic channels for conversions on your site. So, for instance, if you're using last click attribution, that means you're giving credit to the last channel that was used to visit your site and complete a conversion. So if someone visits your site from a social media platform and then comes back later using an organic search and completes a conversion, the organic visit will get credit for their conversion. Now, if you change your attribution model to first click, then the social media platform is going to get the credit. Google Analytics 4 collects data for a list of events automatically. And since GA4 is events-based, it tracks some events right out of the box for web properties, not apps. And those events include page view, scroll, session start, user engagement, video complete, video progress, video start, and view search results. Google Analytics 4 focuses on engagement instead of bounce rate like Universal Analytics. Average engagement time replaces the average time on site metric from Universal Analytics. Now, this just means how long an average user is spending on your site. Data stream refers to the stream of data coming in from your site to analytics. Now, once you put a tracking code on your website or your app, you'll get a data stream. Each property you create will have its own individual stream. Default reporting entity refers to how you track and report on users. You can choose to track them by user ID, Google Signals and device, or by the device only. If you don't set up user ID reporting or use Google Signals, then your entity will just be by device, no matter which option that you choose. Google Analytics is going to count a session as engaged if it lasts longer than 10 seconds. It includes at least one conversion, and it includes two or more page views. If you want the timing for engagement to be less or more than 10 seconds, well, you have to adjust it by going to Admin, then Data Streams, Next, you'll need to go to your site's data stream and then to More Tagging Settings and finally to Adjust Session Timeout. The engagement rate in GA4 is the number of engaged sessions divided by the total number of sessions. So if you had 100 sessions and 67 of them were engaged, your engagement rate would be 67%. Engaged sessions per user. Now, this metric is simply the number of engaged sessions divided by the number of users. The higher the number, the more engaged your audience is. Enhanced measurement refers to the ability in GA4 to turn on event tracking for certain common events without having to modify your tracking code. Now, that includes page views, scrolls to the bottom of the page, outbound link clicks, site searches, engagement with embedded YouTube videos, and file downloads. But that doesn't mean that reporting is easy for these optional events. You have to create a custom report to get more information on any of those events. Now, that's why we recommend using a plugin like Monster Insights if you're using WordPress. Universal Analytics had events, but they're totally different in GA4. Any engagement with your site is now called an event, and that's including page views. In Universal Analytics, interactions were tracked by hits, but now they're all events. GA4 has automatic, recommended, and custom events. Event Counts is something that's new in GA4. It shows the number of events that are tracked. It comes with a drop-down in some reports, so you can choose a specific event's data to view it in a table instead. An event parameter describes the data that's collected about an event. With a page view event, for an example, the page title and the URL are collected as parameters. GA4 has a new section called Explorer for building custom reports or explorations and funnels using tables and graphs. When you create a custom report, you can choose a blank one to create a report from scratch, free form, a funnel visualization, or a path exploration. Lifecycle is a new reporting section within GA4.2. It refers to where your users are at in their journey with your site, and it contains reports on user acquisition, engagement, monetization, and retention. Instead of having a tracking ID, like in Universal Analytics, GA4 refers to it as your measurement ID. Each data stream has a unique measurement ID and starts with a G and then a series of letters and numbers. Instead of having e-commerce reports, like in Universal Analytics, you have monetization reports in GA4. Under the monetization heading, you have the following reports. Overview, e-commerce purchases, in-app purchases, 
and publisher ads. Instead of transaction, GA4 tracks purchases. A purchase is recorded anytime someone completes a purchase of a product or a service on your site. Under the Acquisition Report heading, you'll find the Traffic Acquisition Report and the User Acquisition Report. The User Acquisition Report provides data about how you attracted new visitors to your site. Now, if you're a WordPress user, you're in luck. Google Analytics 4 has a very steep learning curve, but you can make it a whole lot easier by installing Monster Insights. Monster Insights is the best Google Analytics plugin for WordPress. It allows you to easily connect your WordPress site with Google Analytics, both Universal Analytics and GA4. That way you can view all the data that matters the most right in your WordPress dashboard. Plus, with a click of a button, you can set up sophisticated tracking features like event tracking, e-commerce tracking, and media tracking. Plus, you can easily track forms, custom dimensions, outbound links, and more. While the GA4 interface is changing a lot, Monster Insights is going to stay simple and keep it easy to read. It also sets up some of the complicated event tracking that comes with GA4 with just a couple of clicks. Now that's our Google Analytics 4 glossary. We hope that it helped you on your quest to understand GA4 a little bit better. With Monster Insights, you get the website stats that matter. See why we're used by more than 3 million websites. If you're not already using Monster Insights, be sure to check out the discount link in the description. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time.